Alida Irby enjoys starting her day with the newspaper. She'll read it later on in the day. What's more important each morning is getting the plastic bag the paper comes in. The mixed media artist recognized its potential about three years ago. And as I was taking the paper out, I felt the texture of these bags and they were soft. I just looked down and realized that it takes three to make a braid. And I'll put a few staples in here just to keep it from unraveling. Since then, Irby has been using plastic bags to create abstract lines in her pieces. Before incorporating plastic bags in her work, Irby used natural materials like feathers, leather, and dried plants. All those elements highlight her Native American heritage and identity. Navajo bundles is an example. I was replicating a hairstyle, a Navajo hairstyle, when the hair is heavy and it's looped back on itself. I took the piece of plastic bag and looped it back onto itself and secured it with a tie. At the African American Museum and Cultural Center, Plates and Ponytails, a collection of Irby's works, is now on display. People always uh, think of it as one thing when they're far away and then when they get up close, they, they see that it's a, a plastic bag. What we're going to do is we're going to lie them flat like this with the print up. Amazed at how she turns trash into treasure, some neighbors asked her to teach them how to create art from used plastic bags. I think it's fascinating, it's wonderful, and I do plan on sharing this with my seniors at my church. I never gave any more thought to what to do with a plastic bag. Uh, yeah, this is definitely different. So. I want to make a masterpiece that I can put in a frame and put it up on my wall, and then I know that I did it. I think that we are all artists, really, and, and, um, and there's beauty all around us. Irby says all you have to do is open your eyes, and bring the outside in. For writer Faisa El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.